I have a list of I, No, in general. Just no, in general. I do, okay. but right? about me. Go ahead. And God, do you believe God looks at every sin exactly the same? Or do you think God ranks sins? Ooh. I think he's like, y'all dumb son of a bitches. <laughs> like, I gave y'all some, like, credence and some, like, rules and Kate, laws and y'all well fucked it up. So that's, what I, that's the way I think God looks at us. Huh. Like, fuck. Hey. What the hey. fuck did I do wrong? Hey. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey, Mom, if you're listening, I didn't just use the F word. <laughs> okay. I got what you said, but here is the question. But just here in you, this room. You go to 7-Eleven and you steal a pack of chewing gum. Oh, you're God done. forbid. You're done. Or you're Jeffrey Dahmer and you eat people. <laughs> you both, you so both... it's chewing gum or people. Right. Now, either way, you're both, chewing. Both, you're chewing both, either way. You, you, yeah. you stole the gum and you're <laughs> like, God, I'm really sorry. And he knows... That, or, it knows you meant it, and I don't it? want to say he. Well, I don't want to say he or she because we don't know. Then just say the Lord knows. Okay, there you go. Thank go you. ahead, keep going. And then Jeffrey Dahmer eats a couple of bodies, and he and at the end he goes, <laughs> "I, question I'm this. sorry," and, and God goes, "Yeah, okay, I get it." Hubba Bubba. What's my question? Or, are both is it sins the same? The is, same? It, is it all the same to the Fuck big guy? No. Right. You cannot chew chewing gum and chew someone's tongue. Right. Yeah. And yeah, that expect would to go to the same place. I'm yeah. sorry. I've, I'm I've, sorry. I'm down with that. Now, let me say this. If if God sent Jeffrey, because I am, y'all, listen, I listen to interrogations to fall asleep. It's ridiculous. My, if you looked at all of my YouTube stuff, it's like all of this graphic, horrible interrogation. Like, and then I'm like, <sighs> How do you fall asleep to interrogations? I don't know. Interesting. But I do. I do. Okay. Um, right. But I feel as though, um, yeah, like if Jeffrey, well, Jeffrey's gone now. Um, I've heard people talk about near-death experiences. Um, I've had one myself based mm. on asthma. I've never said this before ever in my entire life. But I've thought about it recently and... Um, I remember waking up in a hotel. Should I say this? Because this is very serious. Please do. Are you sure? I'm 100%. Because we were just laughing. Get that stuff out between your teeth before you say it, though. Abe, you got a toothpick. Thank you. Can I get a pick? Unbelievable. No, go ahead. uh, Like, I don't want to say... She's in the middle of a big revelation. You're worried about the seaweed. I've never said this before, and I don't know that I should. Please do. Well, what makes you hesitate? Just go for it. Just because. I've never said it before. Okay. We're friends now. You have Tito. Wait a minute. Take another <laughs> swig. That? Take another swig of Tito's and and. Uh, Wait a you know. minute. Did you just see that? I'm like we're friends now. No, she kind of laughed that, that, that. That was very rude. rude. That was kind of rough. Very rude. That was pretty hard. Yeah. Well, we can pretty only hurtful, go. Terry, we can only go. Hurtful. We can only go up from there. So, what's your story? Anywho, any hoodle doodle dude. <laughs> um, so. Wait. Let, I, I need to preface it by by a little story. Is that okay? Sure. Absolutely. Why not? Okay. So, um, like. You know how females, <laughs> I'm talking to all, like, this is all testosterone, and I'm trying to make a comment about a damn female. Anyway, so, like, I remember back in the day, because I'm too old to do it now. Um, what? I remember. I'm deaf when like, they talk loud. I would wake right. up having, like, massive period cramps. Okay. And it would be, like, I, I would wake up, and it was like, holy sh! like, this shit's happening to me right now. Mm-hmm. Or I would have these cramps, and then in my dream, I'm giving birth. Mm. I would wake up, and I'm like, I'm not giving birth, but I hurt, right? The other thing is, like, I have asthma. So, with having asthma, um, you know, the rescue inhaler, I have it normally right near me. But on this particular occasion, I was in a hotel, and I will never forget it as long as I live. And that might be tomorrow. I'm not sure. But um, I went away, and it was this most beautiful, calm, peaceful. It was like you were just bathing in goodness, and, like, everything just felt beautiful. And um, I remember saying to God, 
don't take me yet because Dakota is too young. Mm -hmm. Please let me raise her. And I woke up in my hotel room and I, mm. I couldn't breathe. So I did my inhaler, mm -hmm. but I will never forget that. And mm -hmm. I've never told any, I've not even told my child that. Mm -hmm. And I tell her everything, but yeah, it's like, it kind of made me realize like the, the, the best is yet to come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Never experienced it before. And since I haven't. Right. But anyway, Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. All right, go ahead. Let how how long ago about. was this, if I can ask? When, when did this happen to you? This was probably, what year are we in? Uh, 2023, I think. You think? I keep trying to think. It's Nothing happened. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, oh, okay. it's been a long while. All right. Yeah. Sounds like it hit some sort of spiritual crossroads. I mean, it, just, it was just wicked that mm. even though I'm Christian and I believe in God. Right. Um... Like, I'd never experienced anything like that in my life. And then when I woke up and I was gasping and I couldn't get air, um, it was like the way that when I saw what I'll call Jesus or God, um, I didn't have that problem. I didn't, I was not right. breathing badly or anything. Mm, right. Anyway, all right, go ahead. That's pretty wild. You'll know, you'll by know by the way, Jay Will, <laughs> Jay Will out there says that if you have asthma and you don't have your inhaler, a, a towel fucked. full of... Well, I, I would think so. Your fucked would be my answer, yeah. too. Yeah. But Jay Will says uh, a towel with honey can fix that. Stop it, really? That's what he says. How a can it... A towel... Wait, do you... Let me make sure I read this right. Honey available to put on a rag and put it over your face can help. So no no water, no nothing. No, just, just some honey on a rag. and some honey. On the on a rag. It's very... Sounds like suffocating to me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but at least it tastes sweet <laughs> while you're dying. You're pretty Yeah, funny. that's kind of... You're yeah, pretty no, funny. it did. It did to me, too. What's it that? It sounded like suffocating, except it tastes sweet while you're going... I'm more He's concerned gonna... why there's a rag next to you. Yeah, that's true, too. It's like it could only be dirty. You're either cleaning the house. Who knows what you're doing with I'll that just thing. just use this... That rag. <laughs> ...thing that I that can. That rag. That <laughs> rag, exactly. Hold on. Let me get that rag to cure my asthma. Hmm. I don't know. Tastes like I'm lemon sorry, pledge. The, wait, the viscosity <laughs> of a honey okay. through a towel? Wait a minute, is this librarian stuff or a wrestling show? Bitch, Which, just work with me, okay? <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying. She's very right. high level, man. She is. She is very she really high is. level. She's throwing words out we've never heard of. Through a towel makes my asthmatic lungs and breathing apparatus go, fuck no. Because mm. I would suffocate. Right. If I was trying to breathe through that viscosity right. towel, uh-uh. What is Joe Will trying to do? What, 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 <laughs> what are you besides, saying? Be, besides the seriousness. Wait, of, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Why do y'all have eyeglasses on and I don't? I don't Just know. Saying, Where's I your shades? told you. you got to be ready. What's going up? Oh, there Drum you roll. go. Don't fuck with me, motherfucker. I can, I can pretend it's daylight. There go we ahead. Go. There we go. Go ahead. Besides Lovely. that moment Excellent. you just discussed, which definitely was a, a hard moment. Do you have another time that you had asthma, like an asthma attack in a very bad situation? Mm -hmm. um, I was in a, an oxygen tank for seven months when wow. I was a little girl. Wow. Yelp. And they would let my mom, like they would unzip it just for her to come in and like hold me and touch me. Wow. Um, and I was three years old when that happened. Mm. So I, yeah, I've just dealt with it. I mean, it's much better now as an old lady. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot better. Like, like it, 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 40 years ago, I could eat a peanut and go to the hospital or I loved the rodeo and I would beg every year, you know, can I please go? And my mom was like, you know, you're going to end up in the hospital. I'm like, I don't care. I just want to go to the rodeo and see the bulls bucking and the horses. And so finally... After Born many like that, years, they got permission for me to be able to drive up. Well, I didn't drive, but to drive me up to the the fence and let me watch the whole rodeo from a car where I didn't, you know, have to smell. Because horses, like, horses were lethal to me. Really? Wow. wow. Yes, which is interesting. If you ever see any videos of me on horses in, like, diva country... 
I don't know why. I, I, I never, I never said anything to anyone. Like, I never said like, dude, why are you putting me on a horse of all people? Mm. But they always wanted to put me on a horse. I'm mm. like, mm, I'm so allergic. So I would, unbeknownst to them, inhaler medicine, <laughs> inhaler medicine rag honey like whatever i would do the the, the shoot and yeah did wow. did nervousness also bring on your asthma like no no not at all uh -uh. so you you felt comfortable being in front of all those crowds like yeah that i was asthma. just happy as a clam yeah yeah no it was definitely physical it was not it was not a psychiatric thing. so you mentioned mom and dad a few times can you tell us a little bit more about mom and dad no how about them apples? Jesus. Can you tell us about brothers and sisters? Perhaps cousins, twins?